Action 7 News has swabbed things before and sent the results to a lab, but this time we found some of the worst bacteria yet. Anchor Royal Day tested things you probably use every day in your kitchen and your living room, and after seeing this, you may want to disinfect a few things. The swabs are back. This time, we're targeting common things in a home to see if dangerous sickly germs hide in the crevices of coffee makers, water bottles, cutting boards, remotes, keys, laundry baskets, earphones, and our furry companions. They do. And some of the bacteria we found can make you very sick. This is the lovely um, direct TV remote. When, when's the last time you wiped that down? Never. <laughs> Okay, so we might get some good samples yeah, from that. For this swabbing experiment, we visited KOAT's digital media manager, Devin Armijo's Albuquerque townhouse, to see what's growing. We're going to do some of his cutting boards. And where? Even the pets were part of this test. We managed to swab the exact right spot so that you got all this good stuff. To Our bacteria expert, John Golobic, with Quest Diagnostics, took us through the results. The clear cutting board is, is pretty clean. It just has a couple of colonies of bacillus also. The earphone had very little growing. Nothing shocking as well on the coffee maker, TV remote, and keys. Places some experts say can be a haven for bacteria. The water bottles were fine too. But in this experiment, you go to the white cutting board, um, you can oh. see how much is growing here. Look at this. Gross. There's some bacillus on here, and there's um, a Leclerchia, which is um, kind of enteric. It falls in the same group with E. coli. A thorough scrubbing with soap and water or spin through the dishwasher will likely kill off all that bad stuff. Upstairs, the laundry basket has bacteria in it, and it does have some bugs that would be um, uh, fecal bugs that we would see. If you have a plastic bin, wipe it down with bleach. Or if you have a cloth basket, throw it in the wash. On to the living things in Devin's house. These are the results we got. We swabbed his cat and his dog. The cat grew some um, enterics, which are kind of fecal contaminants. Okay. So um, small amounts, but still some nonetheless. Buster, the 13-year-old terrier, was worse. Dog, same thing. Uh, oh my <laughs> that looks disgusting. I mean, that's one of the worst looking petri dishes I've seen. This petri dish, brown, spotted, and filthy, even more fecal matter. With animals, you kind of would expect this because they're out there rolling around, they're in the backyard, they're rolling on everything. Stuff you don't want around your mouth or in your food. Golovic says the best defense against E. coli, fecal bacteria, and other sickly germs, wherever they're found, <laughs> wash your hands and wash them often, even if you're just at home, because the stuff that makes you sick is lingering around here, too. Royal Day, KOAT, Action 7 News. Global advice if you're playing with your pet, dog or cat, don't touch your face, eat or cook food until you wash your hands. Now, as far as kissing your pet, he doesn't recommend it. No.